Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia. I hope you will subscribe before you leave today. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing my February Glam Bag X. Now, when I am filming this, it's Monday. It's the 28th, which is the very last day of the month. And I didn't get my box until like February 25th, which is ridiculous. And that's, that's like my only complaint. I'm going to go ahead and let you know with Ipsy is that... They charge my card on the first of the month, every month, like clockwork. The second of the month, I go in, choose the few products that I can, and then I always am, like, not getting it until, like, the last week of the month, which that part really sucks, but as I mentioned, this is the Glam Bag X, so technically this box only comes out four times a year, so February, May, August, and November, I believe, are, like, the x months but basically what that is is instead of getting like five products you're getting like eight to ten products um all full size of course and with the glam bag x's they always have like a curator so huda beauty recently did one um i'm pretty sure chloe kardashian has done one but anyway, the one that did this was Addison Rae. Now, Addison Rae, I honestly did not know who she was, um, but I did a little bit of digging. She started out, like, on TikTok posting dancing videos, and I believe that's how she got famous. But she's got, like, 86.2 million followers now. So, that is just crazy. But, yeah, I guess she's, like, a 90s baby. We and her should be around the same age. I think she's probably a few years younger than me. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into this box. That's what you're all here for. The only thing that I have done so far is just cut the box. But this is what it looks like. It always has like nice foam packaging in there. I've never had anything like arrive to me damaged. Now, I did go ahead and take a peek at what was coming in this box because once it ships online on their app you can see what is coming in your box also every month on the second of the month regardless if you have the base box or if you have like the x um you can go in there and pick a few things so highly recommend doing that all right so this box is actually very skincare heavy um I don't mind that so much just because, like, I'll buy makeup, you know what I mean? Like, I've got no problem spending my coin on makeup, but I don't necessarily like to spend my money on, like, moisturizers or cleansers or things like that. Like, things that you need, but I don't get excited to buy necessarily. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing in here, which I thought was kind of interesting, this is from Act and Acre. This is a plant-based plant dry shampoo. This product retails for $22. It is all clean ingredients. There are six ingredients in this whole entire thing, which I think is interesting. So basically the directions of this are just to shake it well and then spray six inches away from hair, focusing at the root and then massage it in brush remaining product through the ends so yeah I just I'm not familiar with you know not familiar with this I'm used to like the Batiste sprays like the aerosol type can so I'm not even you know that familiar with that but that will be nice to try it is a clean beauty brand but yeah it just says that it's supposed to absorb your oils and and neutralize odors so I know I definitely am not a person that washes their hair every day if I did that dear lord I'd be in the bathroom forever for one but I it just is not good for my hair so um I definitely will use this product I will say that all right next up this is a product from Anne Hydra this retails for $60, and basically what this is, it's a waterless clay to foam daily cleanser. Now, I have had things like this where your hands are moist, you put a few shakes of the product in your hand, mix it around, and then it becomes like a foamy type of deal. Ooh, feels like a glass bottle. That is actually pretty nice, but yeah, this is it here. 
It says it's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, amino acids, and clay in here. Um, this is for daily use. Avoid the eye area, but yeah, I mean, I definitely will use this as well. $60 for that cleanser. This box is the only way I would try this cleanser out. I'll say that. All right, now from First Aid Beauty. This is a beauty brand that I love. I think their products are so good for people with sensitive skin in particular. But yeah, this is just a great great brand. Um, you can pick this up at Ulta. This product retails for $42 and what it is is a facial radiance niacinamide dark spot serum. <sighs> Help reduce the look of hyperpigmentation and even your skin tone. So that sounds very nice. It helps with melasma, sunspots, post-inflammatory is what it says and it also helps with hyperpigmentation as I mentioned but yeah it is a brightening serum it's got niacinamide in it licorice root kiwi fruit colloidal oatmeal is what it said and willow bark which helps with breakouts so a lot of really good ingredients in there and this is one ounce, and I do just want to pull it out just so you can see what the actual bottle looks like. That is what it looks like there. All right, another skincare item. This is from Tula. Again, another really popular brand. You can find this at Ulta as well. This is the 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. This is 1.5 ounces, and this retails for $52. But as you can tell on the packaging, this is another clean beauty brand. It has squalene, peptides, and probiotics, and they're supposed to smooth, brighten, and moisturize. All good things. So, um, I have tried Tula things before. I can't, it doesn't stick out to me that I've tried this, so I'm going to say that I haven't. Okay, something else that is skincare related is from this Aceology brand. Now, I think this may just be like a favorite of celebrities because in the Huda Xbox that just recently came out, um, she had an Aceology face mask in there as well. So, um, while that was like a squeeze tube, peel off type of a mask, this is biodegradable sheet mask. And it is a multivitamin brightening mask. So it comes with four in here. This normally would retail for $59. It's got vitamin B3, C, and E in here. It just says that it's antioxidant rich and it helps to smooth, brighten, and protect. So definitely will be trying these out, but I think I'll use that as like a special occasion type of deal. That's kind of a pricey sheet mask. And you think $60 for four. All right, next up is a product that I am familiar with. This is a good brow gel. It's not my favorite brow gel, but this is the ABH Clear Brow Gel. So it is just a clear, lightweight gel. It, you know, holds your brows in, in place. But if you've also used a pencil or any other type of product like that, this will kind of like lock it in and set it. You know what I mean? But yeah, this retails for $22. Okay, also from Item Beauty, which is Addison Rae's brand. Now, this brand you can buy on Sephora. I actually really do like it. Like, I've got a bronzer from this before. So, if you watched my collection video, one of her bronzers is actually really good. So, um, I definitely think that the quality is good. I mean, I like her aesthetics. She's kind of just, again, it reminds me kind of like KKW Beauty style as far as the colors. It's just really everyday, like wearable type of shades. But this palette retails for $24, so as you can tell, even though it's sold at Sephora, it is not going to, like, break the bank. That's not a bad price for an eyeshadow palette, but it is cruelty-free, it's vegan, it's dermatological tested, and it is just described as cool and warm neutrals. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I planned on giving this to my daughter, and whenever I was showing her what was coming in my box, she even said, she said, oh, that looks like something I would like. So, um, this will be going straight to her, but I did want to go ahead and open it up since I won't be doing a video on my channel with this. But this is the colors here. So, as you can tell, yeah, it is just 
Everyday Shades. And the name of it is On The Daily. So I think that that makes a lot of sense. That was a good name for it. Next up is one from Pat McGrath. And I was so excited to get this because I don't have a lot of her lip glosses. I think as far as her lip glosses go, I think I just have minis of those. Um, but this is the shade Love Potion. This retails for $28. And I always love her packaging. Her packaging is like art itself open this up and it is just like a beautiful everyday type of shade I love this so much it is like a baby pink with like a gold shimmer in there let's see how it's described this is a lightweight gel texture it's not sticky or gooey it's ultra luxe gloss and this shade which is again called love potion this is described as being an iridescent pink with taupe pigments so hmm. but yeah $28 and I do really love that this came in there all right and then I don't know if this is like a bonus or what um this is from Violet Voss and this is the wind flower fun size eyeshadow palette I swear I did not see this online um maybe I just missed it but I mean, I've got a page full of notes and I didn't see this anywhere. So, but this is what the outer packaging looks like here. Now I have tried Violet Voss eyeshadows before. Honestly, I don't think they're anything to like write home about necessarily, but this is a really pretty eyeshadow palette. So, um, I don't know. I may try this out. I may end up doing like a giveaway on my channel with this. So just stay tuned for that. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it as of right now. It is pretty, but I just don't know if I need it. All right. The total of everything before this was $309 and I got all of that for about 50 bucks. Now, if you add this in there, hang on, I might actually have it in this paper. Yeah, I don't even see it in this little paper here, so I don't know if they like messed up and gave me this or what, but we're just going to say this is $309 without this in there, and I think that's a really good deal. Now, having said that, am I really excited about anything in here? To be honest with you, I'm happy that I can give this to my daughter, and I'm happy that she will like that. I would say realistically I would probably pay like 10 or 15 bucks for this um I do love the lip gloss from Pat McGrath so I I would pay 20 dollars for this lip gloss so again you're probably at about a 35 dollar value in my opinion and then you've got the clear clear brow gel I would personally pay like 10 bucks for this so we're up to what 45 now um, and then, I mean, I do like this stuff and I will use it, but it's not things that I'm like super excited to try. You know what I mean? I would say next up would probably be the sheet mask and that's $59. So, I mean, definitely the value of the box is here. It's just, it's nice stuff, but it's not stuff that I'm like super excited to use, if that makes sense. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this super rambly video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have all of this stuff linked down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.